Here. Mrs. Linton? Here. Mr. Johnson? Here. Mr. Remick? Here. Mr. Slavin? Here. Mr. Geis? Here. Mayor Lilly? Here. Mr. Bauer? Here. Mrs. Stoko? Here. All members are present. Next item on the agenda is item 5.1, a motion to accept the agenda. Make a motion. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Brandana, supported by Councilman Slavin. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. Item 5.2 is a motion to approve the acceptance of the minutes of the special meeting held April 30th, 2022, and dispense with oral reading. Motion. Motion by Councilwoman Witten, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. Item 5.3 is a motion to approve the acceptance of the minutes of the meeting held May 3rd, 2022, and dispense with oral reading. Motion. Motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilman Slavin. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. Which brings us to item 6.1 on the agenda, Mayor's Communications. Thank you. Mayor Willick. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, item 6.1 is a motion to approve the reappointment of Robert Zwed to the Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term to expire on May 31st, 2025. Motion to approve. Support. Motion by Councilwoman Brandana, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All those opposed say no. Yes, it's had it. Motion carried. Um, Madam Clerk, are you going to do the swearing in at this point in time? All right. And I will note, um, this will bring uh, Mr. Schwed uh, to 30 years serving on uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals. He served ably and with distinction for 27 years, and we do appreciate your service. Item 6.2 is a motion to approve the reappointments of Ken Stewart and Mark Stiles to the Planning Commission for a three-year term to expire on June 1st, 2025. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilwoman Whitten. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. The yes is had it. Motion carried. Mr. Chairman, item 6.3. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh. Styles here for this morning. No, no. Okay, so you're going to have to re print up the. One. One. Okay. One to okay. okay. Mr. Mayor. Item 6.3 is a motion to receive and file a list of donations accepted by the City of Taylor through April 30th, 2022. Motion. Support. Motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Chairman, I also have a 
6.4, and this is a motion to receive and file a proclamation on Peace Officers Memorial Day and Police Week 2022. Motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Grandana. Mr. Mayor, would you, uh, uh, Madam Clerk, would you like to read the resolution? Yes, Mr. Proclamation. Chairman. Sorry. Gladly. A pro proclamation, a proclamation on Peace Officers Memorial Day and Police Week 2022. Whereas in 1962, President John F. Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day and the calendar week in which May 15th falls as National Police Week. Established by a joint resolution of Congress in 1962, National Police Week pays special recognition to those law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty for the safety and protection of others. And whereas there are more than 800,000 law enforcement officers serving in communities across the United States, including the approximately 17,000 full-time uniformed police officers in Michigan, and whereas members of law enforcement deserve the appreciation and respect of the people of the city of Taylor, Michigan, city of Taylor, Michigan, for the merit, dignity, bravery, and reliability they exhibit each and every day. We must also honor the sacrifices made by families of police officers, as each day they must face constant fear as their loved ones work to protect us. And Whereas, for generation, generations, courageous men and women of our nation's law enforcement community have dedicated their lives to protecting us in big cities, small towns, and suburban neighborhoods across America. Each morning, police officers pin on their shields and walk out the door to go to work, hoping they will come home safely. Last year, a record number of law enforcement officers died in the line of duty. On Peace Officers Memorial Day and during Police Week, we express our gratitude for these selfless public servants who put themselves in harm's way to keep us safe and honor those who lost their lives in the line of duty. And whereas City of Taylor fallen officers will never be forgotten, nor will their service. By choosing to commit themselves to law enforcement, these brave individuals answered the call for service and willingly put their lives in jeopardy. We commend them for recognizing service as a noble career and protecting the public safety and also all of those who are serving without incident to date. And whereas City of Taylor and all Michigan citizens have turned to members of law enforcement for assistance and, assistance and support in time of distress. Whether they are coping with a personal crisis or struggling through civil disorder or a national disaster. Natural disaster. Our communities rely on these courageous individuals when it is difficult to stand on our own, and we are indebted to the unwavering public service of our local and state police. We are indeed fortunate and grateful for the contributions of law enforcement officers to the people of this state. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the mayor, together with all elected officials of the city of Taylor, do hereby proclaim May 11 through 17, 2022, as Peace Officers Memorial Day and Police Week in the city of Taylor, Michigan, signed by all elected officials. Thank you. We have a motion by Councilman Ramitz, supported by Councilman Johnson. All those in favor say, I'm sorry, motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Brand Man. All those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. Yes, let's have it. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I'd just like to say to you and your officers, we appreciate everything you do for us. It's really our honor, Mr. Mayor. We appreciate uh, all the support we get from the citizens, our council. You guys are great with us. Uh, we're doing what we can for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I will note that I saw the Edwards family had traveled to Washington, D.C. and took a picture of the wall. I know the last time that I was there, there were very few names after Officer Edwards. Unfortunately, there are many more that have been added.
Mr. Mayor. Mr. Chairman, I have a motion to receive and file a proclamation from Leonard Kelly Davis. 